All right, welcome to another episode. In this episode right here, I'm gonna be showing you guys how to create automated builds for your Docker image uh, using GitHub and the Docker Hub. So if we take a look over here, uh, what we can actually do is, you know, let's first take a look at the GitHub repository that I've created over here. Uh, so this is a repository that I created and I, I put it under my organization, so for Codemy. So you guys, please feel free to check this out. Um, you know, like feel free to star it, uh, fork it, so you can customize it as you need. Uh, essentially, the reason why I created this is because sometimes using the, the official Docker images um, leaves something to be desired because, because you know, I have, uh, you know, my own custom settings. Like, for example, if I need a more performant uh, Postgres, uh, you know, container, then I use my own and I have custom configs for the different kinds of machine that I'm going to be running them on. Um, and, you know, for Elasticsearch, if you watch our previous episode, um, you'll see that, uh, you know, we customized Elasticsearch image so that it'll be compatible with our application. So there are many reasons why you would customize a Docker image. And, um, you know, I basically host it under one organization. Uh, and basically what we can then do is we can set up an automated build on uh, Docker Hub. Now, before I show you guys how to do this on Docker Hub, uh, I wanted to mention that, you know, we, uh, Codemy is a business and, uh, you know, we appreciate your support. And so now what you can do is you can head over to the membership page and you can become a paid member. And, uh, you know, you'll see uh, we have a few episodes now that are uh, member only episodes. Uh, this is going to be a free episode, but we have two episodes before this that basically shows you how to customize your own uh, Elasticsearch image. Um, you know, and we have a f tons more uh, member exclusive content coming up. So head over to the site and uh, become a member to support us. All right, let's get back into it. Um, so here we are, uh, we have the repository. And in Docker Hub, what we can do is we can create a, what we call an automated build. So if I click on here, uh, we can then choose which repository. So in this case, I'm gonna choose the Codemy uh, organization. And then um, basically I'm gonna choose a Docker file, the one that I put all my uh, Docker files in. Now I'm not gonna create this, but I'm gonna show you the, I'm gonna go into a show you one of the configurations of the ones that I've already created. So I'm gonna head over into the dashboard here and uh, select my organization. And you'll see I have a few uh, images over here. Uh, so I'm gonna click on Elasticsearch and the trick is, uh, if you head over to the build settings, once you create the repository using the button, the create automated build that I showed you guys before, uh, once you go through that process, you're gonna get this screen. And essentially the trick here is, you know, if you wanna use one repository on GitHub to build multiple containers, um, you wanna map the folder. So here I have slash Elasticsearch, like it basically lets you choose where the Docker file location is. Um, so I can do elast slash elastic search. And basically what this is going to do is it's going to go into the path and then find the Docker file and build a container based on that. Uh, so if I'm going to show you another example, so if I head over to the code of organization here, uh, I'm going to click on the Postgres one that I have and, uh, basically, um, head over here. I'm going to, I use the Postgres directory to allow me to build, um, to build the, the container. So um, the reason why we need to do this is because when we're using, um, you know, these images on uh, Rancher, uh, we need to be able to reference it. Like, you know, Rancher doesn't have access to the images stored on our local machine. So uh, by putting it all on Docker Hub, uh, we can access it. So when we create, uh, you know, a service, uh, then we can just reference, okay, we want to use the the image that we customize and we created for our organization. Uh, and this is very handy, uh, you know, if you're in a, in a co company where you have, um, you know, multiple developers, you can ensure that everybody's using the same uh, images from the same organization. And uh, for open source, Docker Hub is free, so you don't need to pay for that. Um, and uh, yeah, that's gonna wrap it up for this episode. In the next episode, I'm gonna be showing you guys how to boot up our custom-built Elasticsearch image. See you guys in the next one.